Morning, folks. Now, here it is, April 12th. Of course, it's snowing. Well, I had high hopes of maybe getting out in the garden. We'd be following up on some of our living soil gardening method in our raised beds. Maybe do something about seed starting. I have some pepper and tomato plants going in our garden stream planters over here. We have some that are outside in a cold frame out in the hoop house growing over heat cables with an automatic vent opener all that stuff. All that good spring stuff we're supposed to be talking about. But here we sit. So I had promised a while back when I was talking about the book that I've written called Food Africa and the Pursuit of Contentedness that at the end of this book is a recipe for what we call sauce tomate, which was a basically a tomato sauce, a peanut butter based tomato sauce with spinach, onion and garlic served over fried ripe plantains and rice and or rice. It's a meal that was my favorite in the CAR and I discuss how it's made in here and stuff but I, I promised that I'd do a little video on how we make it. Realizing that these food videos get virtually no no viewership for whatever reason you know it's maybe it's the tens of thousands of other food related videos out there or there's just not tons of interest but I don't have anything else to do so in the book I talk about Central African primarily the women and how they go about preparing their meals and it's really quite interesting I think and the whole book is about life in the Central African Republic as it was back in the early 1980s when Peg and I were both Peace Corps volunteers there and how our experiences there help shape our lives here how it kind of resets our priorities our values you know what what really is important in life and so it's I think kind of a fun read but I maybe have a little bias there I don't know but it's available on Amazon I'll put the link at the end of this video for those who are interested in in taking a look at it if there's a Kindle format that doesn't really cost much of anything but the print book is I think $14.95 anyways what I'm going to do is I archived photographs that I took while preparing this meal sometime during the winter a few couple months ago so without further ado let's jump right into it now in the book I talk about palm oil freshly pressed palm oil made from the ripe palms of the oil palms that it was such a, a wonderful treat for a kid from Minnesota that had never eaten anything like it you just can't buy it you know you can buy palm oil and some of it's less refined than others but nothing like the the freshly made stuff that was packed with the fibers yet and all of the the good stuff well what we use now to substitute is just an organic unrefined coconut oil and if you think about it it's still a palm oil it tastes similar it's not the same thing but anyways what we're going to do to start is we're going to saute some diced onion in a couple tablespoons of palm oil and once those soften we're going to then press a couple cloves of garlic minced garlic into that and then just stir that just for you know, we don't want to brown that garlic just for a minute or so while the garlic is softening over a fairly low heat we don't want to 
crank it. We're going to add some seasonings, which is basically about a teaspoon or so of, of a good quality sea salt, and then some about a teaspoon or so of some cracked red pepper or cayenne pepper. And basically it's your call. Any other seasonings that you care to put into it at that point, but basically it was salt and and red pepper that we added to it in the CAR. Next we're going to add tomatoes. Now in, in the CAR we used whole ripe fine ripe tomatoes that we just chopped up and added them whole skins and all and we do that when we make it in the summer but in the winter we don't have that available so what we used is about a quart of our canned tomato sauce from our tomatoes we grew last summer or a store-bought can of crushed tomatoes preferably organic or whole tomatoes if they're available but we want the the quantity of tomatoes for this amount is roughly a quart or so of tomatoes that we pour in and then stir that while we heat it and get it up to a, a good simmer. Then to that we add a good mitful, probably like a half a pound or so, of fresh spinach, fresh organic spinach. In the summer we use our Swiss chard from our garden if we don't have spinach available. Now our frozen works in a pinch, but you want a good half pound or so, and then we stir that in and cook it down and, and poof, it kind of <laughs> virtually disappears. It, what seems like way too much ends up not being all that much, but we add enough so that we get some greens mixed in with our sauce. So once our greens are cooked down and softened, then we add, it's about a cup of what we use organic, natural, creamy peanut butter with basically the only ingredients is peanuts and a little salt. And we stir that into the sauce. Now you can add more if, if your sauce is still a little thin after adding a cup of this natural peanut butter you can stir it a little bit more to thicken it. We want it a fairly thick sauce, so we're just going to heat that through until it starts kind of bubbling away like the tar pits. We, we don't want to burn it, but we want to heat that through. While our sauce is being prepared, we want to peel some nice ripe plantains Cut them in half and then cut each half lengthwise so we end up with four quarters for each plantain. Now ripe plantains in northern Minnesota, especially in the winter, is kind of hit or miss. And it's tough to find organic plantains, but we, you know, we, we do our best. But it's hard to find them nice and ripe, like certainly not like we'd find in Central Africa that were just wonderful. Oh my gosh, they were so good. Here, they, you know, they're probably picked green and ripen in their adventures on their way up here from wherever. But find the ripest ones you can. And after we slice them, we're going to brown them in a couple tablespoons of coconut oil or whatever oil you, you want, really. And nicely brown them. We don't want to do them too hot, kind of low, medium heat. When they're nicely browned on one side, we'll flip them over and brown the other side. And then also while all this is going on, we have a, a rice cooker filled with some, well not filled, but we take a, a cup of, we use organic brown rice. So a cup of rice and two cups of water maybe a pinch of sea salt thrown in there and cook up a, a pot of, of rice to serve on the side. When our sauce is done, when our plantains are nicely browned and soft and sweet and golden, and when our rice is cooked, we can make an assembly station here and that's where we're going to put everything together.
into a meal that we have served this now for 30 years or more to folks, friends, and people who are even kind of fussy, kind of particular, and don't like exotic foods say, oh, this is good. So this is a kind of a, a really special meal, I think, or a special treat that combines flavors that are so good and gives you a taste of Central Africa. So again, if you want a bigger taste of Central Africa and what we did there, take a look at the book. I think you like it. So until we can get outside, ugh. it's Mark again with Backwood Basics. Now let's grow together. <laughs>